tonight we got Oshaki Foster rematching Robson Kaseisau after that first controversial after Oshaki Foster lost in a controversial matchup. Uh, I gotta say, Robson could say so. I'm living up to that name, Robson. I'm gonna dub him Robin Robson. Robin Robson could say so because he definitely got robbed. Oh, uh, Shaqy, he definitely robbed him, Shaqy Foster. But, you know, sometimes I guess you gotta look at it from the judge's eyes. Oh, Shaqy Foster was boxing the hell out of uh, Robson could say so, but he wasn't really aggressive. He wasn't really playing his feet much. Sometimes the judges might look at it like he wasn't doing much, but. Just trying to get out of the way and outpoint him the whole fight. Maybe that's what they was looking at. Most of us saw it as he was getting, he put on a clinic against uh, Kaseisa. But the, sometimes the judges don't see it the same way, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we about to get the fight on. We about to get the rematch going. So I'm going to give my prediction on this rematch. So we got Robson Kaseisa, okay, tails of the tape. He's at 19 wins, two losses, one draw, nine big wins by knockout. Uh, 47% knockout ratio. He's 36 years old, five foot ten and a half, 70 inch all reach. So uh, Rob Scassaso is not the biggest of punchers. All right. And Oshaki Foster is at 22 wins, three losses, 12 wins by knockout. He, too, is not a real big puncher. 54% knockout ratio. Uh, he's 31 years old, 5 foot eight and a half with a 72-inch arm reach. So, Shaki Foster has longer arms. He's the shorter guy. Uh, and he's the younger guy. His aim tonight is to get his WBC 130-pound title back from Robson Kaseisau. Uh Kaseisau is a methodical... Sl- you know, more, more of a one of these awkward fighters. Come forward, awkward fighter, moves around when he wants to. Not much to him at all. Oshaki Foster is a great boxer. Good footwork as well. Uh, good left. But he's, like I said, he's not a power puncher, not a big puncher. He's not really an aggressive fighter as well. That could have been the reason why he lost that fight. Okay, and he recognizes that he's going to have to be a little bit more aggressive in this fight. Okay, he said it. He said, yeah, I'm going in there to be a little bit more aggressive, which what I just said earlier, that's what I think the judges were looking at. Like, okay, he was mostly trying to box the whole fight against somebody that don't really have no power. You know, it was a little it was a little strange, but that could have been what cost him this that uh, his last fight. But he still was. Boxing it head off of fucking Robson Casasio. Pretty much boxing his head off. So how does this fight go? Well, it goes depending on how aggressive. This fight is going to be dictated by Oshaki Foster, pretty much. If he goes in there and does the same exact thing again, chances are he might lose again. He goes in there, adjusts his game a little bit, puts some more pressure on uh, Robson Casasio, you know, make it a full move fight a little bit up in his face, bang him to the body. We, we could be looking at a stoppage. Who knows? Uh, Oshaki Forster can't hurt you. Um, he's he got that dog in him. He got a good chin. So I don't see him getting knocked out by Rob, especially not by Rob Sikasa. But I could see him possibly stopping Rob Sikasa, maybe with a body shot. Maybe with a uh, 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 a headshot. But overall, bro, I believe he won his belt back. I got Oshaki forced in this fight by decision. More than likely um, a unanimous decision. I got Oshaki forced unanimous. Looks like he won his belt back. He's hungry. Uh, he's going to have he's going to be much more aggressive in this fight. And. Possibly we could be looking at a stoppage. You could be angry about that loss too. So you can't take a stoppage off the table. If I was to say he was going to stop Rob Sick and Sal for the first time, if he did, I would say late, maybe like nine or 10. But I don't see that happening. I see uh, Oshaki forced to comfortably outboxing uh, the head off of Rob Sick and Sal to retain, get his belt back and become 
Once again, the WBC 130 pound champion. Once again, all right. Final prediction. Oh, Shaki Forster by unanimous decision. Let me know what you think. This is Rebel Life Boxing. Catch y'all the next one. And I'm off this.